Hello, welcome to another video, and with the MLS season now done, and with the January transfer window coming up, there isn't much games to be talking about right now, but we do have a January camp, and we have to talk about it, so if you guys are looking for a potential squad for the January friendlies, and who should be on this roster, then you find you found the right video, so let's just get straight into the video, shall we? So... Let's start off with a preview of the January camp. So the one of the one of the two games that is confirmed is Slovenia on January 20th in Toyota Field in Dallas. Finally, nice to see when the US of T comes to Texas that they're not playing in Austin. Like most of the times when the US of T comes over to Texas, they normally play in Austin. Uh, and it's it got kind of boring to see uh, like uh, to see them in Austin all the time. Like I like I really like Houston Dynamo Stadium. I really like FC Dallas. Well, FC Dallas have a pretty interesting stadium. I have to say, like they have a pretty interesting um layout of the stadium. Like I, I don't know how to explain it, but Toyota, Toyota Field looks it's it looks somewhat interesting to me. Uh, again, like. For fans, I don't think FC Dallas is really good in fans. Uh, that's what I give to Austin. I think they have better fans than Houston Dynamo and FC Dallas. Like Houston, I I, I legit wanted Houston Dynamo to get a relocation out of Houston, but with Hector Herrera now in town, like again, like you have some decent fans in Houston, but for FC Dallas, it's kind of mid. Really, like it's kind of bland however what i have to give to fc dallas is that they do produce a lot of young talent and i think they're the best academy in mls that's what i have to give them to that so now let's talk about who who, who you're, you're most likely to be expecting so it's mostly going to be made up of mls players like let's be real like this is a january camp for mls players it's this camp is strictly for mls players who need a shot with the usmt or who don't even get chances with the with the with the first team, so yeah, it's just like giving out caps to guys, so it's kind of nice. But again, like like sometimes some like Greg like Greg Berhalter would be selecting some guys that should not be on the roster, like just to say just to say it clear. Um, um, it's also going to be made up of some other leagues in the Americas, like League on Max, South America, like. Again, like you, you, there's not a lot of USMT players in South America, so uh, there's only one in Liga MX. So I think who can make who can make the national team. Uh, some minor European leagues like Nor Norwegian league, Danish league, those types of, those types of leagues. You're not expecting your guys like Christian Pulisic, like your Weston McKennies, your Timothy Wales, your Yunus Musas, your Gio Reynas. You're not expecting those guys. You're expecting like some some someone who plays in a minor european league like you're like you're I, i'm not gonna say it because I, i'm gonna give way too much away so let's go straight into the video so first is the goalkeepers we have three really great young goalkeepers in mls which is chris brady roman salentano and patrick schultz all of them are olympic eligible uh i don't think roman salentano is olympic eligible i think he was like ineligible by a couple months but still like he's close to it so at least there's that. Uh, let's talk talk about Chris Brady. I think Chris Brady here is the, is the best goalkeeper out of the three. I feel like when playing out of the back, Chris Brady is the best out of the three. He's the best U U23 goalkeeper in MLS. He's a really good shot stopper, really tall, but really has a good frame to him, and he's a quality goalkeeper. Uh, Ron Salentano is a uh, he has a good frame. Uh, really great shot stopper. Uh, again, like I have to compare, like if I had to compare him with another goalkeeper in MLS, I have to say Matt. He kind of reminds me of Matt Turner. Like when play, he's not a very really, very reliable goalkeeper playing out of the back, but again, he's a really great shot stopper, and I have to give that to him. Uh, Patrick Schultz. Again, he was like Patrick Schultz was clutch in the playoffs. Like. He was one of the main reasons why Columbus Crew ended up winning MLS Cup in the playoffs, just because Patrick Schultz was doing an amazing job between the sticks. He had some really great saves throughout the playoffs and an MLS Cup. Uh, I was really impressed with his performances. Uh, I feel like these three goalkeepers are some of the, are the 
best three young talents we have at the goalkeeper position. And it's really good to see that we have three really good young goalkeepers in Major League Soccer. So I have to give that to these clubs. So now it's time for the center backs. Center backs, we, we don't have a lot of good young center backs in MLS. Like, let's be real over here. Like, uh, we are not out here producing your Sergio Ramos, your Carlos Puyos, your Maldinis of the world. Like, we don't, we are not, like, most of our good young center backs end up leaving MLS very early, like, very early on. Uh, like, if he was healthy, Jalen Neal, I think he should make this roster, but I don't think he'll be healthy by then. Uh, so he, uh, I think he'll have to wait. Uh, so now let's talk about these four center backs. Miles Robinson, uh, he is the best one out of these four. He is, he's probably the best American center back in Major League Soccer right now. Uh, again, like, like when playing out of the back, not really good, but when it comes to defending, when it comes to playing in the air, Miles Robinson is a really great player. Uh, however, one thing that has always been holding him back is his technique and his ability to play out of the back. Like, he is not very good at that at all. So, uh, if I had to take away from something from Miles Robinson, it will have to be that. Uh, George Campbell, haven't seen much of him, but again, like, he's probably one of our, he's probably our best 223 center back in MLS, excluding Jalen Neal. Um, so now it's James Sands. Uh, we have to play a six at the number at center back. So that there's like a really great explanation on why we are very short on center back that we have to move James Sands over to center back just so we can have enough center backs for this January camp. Um, and next to Josh Winder. Uh, Josh Winder has been had had his move to Benfica. hasn't really played much, like he hasn't played for the first team at all. He's been playing more of a Benfica B. I would like to see his progress with how he's doing with Benfica. So I like to see him play like there during this camp one friendly with us. So I, at least we can see where he's at right now. Hopefully he's doing really good. Um, I really haven't heard much from him, but again it's Benfica B. So we're 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 not acting like. Oh, we're going to be knowing everything about him. So, yeah. Now, let's go to fullbacks. Fullbacks, Caleb Wiley, Noah Allen, Michael Halliday, and Nathan Harriel. Uh, Caleb Wiley, he's the best young fullback in MLS. Uh, he has the highest ceiling of any young fullback in Major League Soccer. Uh, most of you guys are going to be saying, what about John Tolkien? John Tolkien, right now, he is expecting to get a move this January. And I feel like he wants to at least have some time to get used to his new team. Uh, again, like I, I'm wishing John Tolkien a lot of luck. Hopefully, he does really good over there in Europe. He has been a really great, great left back in MLS, and I'm expecting a lot of good things from him. So, good, wishing good luck to John Tolkien, Nate, Michael Halliday, Nate, Nathan Harriel. When it comes to right backs, we don't really have a lot of good young right backs in MLS. We have plenty of young options, but again, none of them are striking out to you. Like Nathan Harriel is not got some. Um, Danny Alves type player. He's not your fr like even when we compare him with two other guys in the national team, like he is not Joe Scali, it's not Sergio Dest. So again, <laughs> there's that. Uh Michael Halliday, again, reliable in defense, but again, like he is he can sometimes get exposed a little bit, so yeah, there's that. So now let's go to this. Midfielders Brian Gutierrez, Tim Tim Tillman, Aiden Morris, Ben Kramaski, Rokas Pukshas, and Daniel Edelman. Rokas Pukshas has been playing really great, so really great in Croatia. Really good player. Hopefully we get to, we get to see some more from him on the national team. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, Daniel Edelman has been really good at the six this, se this past season. Uh, I feel like he's not ready yet for that move abroad, but I feel like he if he does he, if he has a really uh, a really great year again for the Red Bulls. I feel like he is destined for a move. I think Jack McGlynn is leaving. Uh, personally, I, I think Jack McGlynn is leaving this January. I feel like it's his time is in Philadelphia Union is, is, has come to an end. Uh, Aiden Morris, uh, I don't think he'll ever move away from MLS. I, I have this really, 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 really bad feeling that he's not going to leave MLS and he's going to decide to stay where he is right now and with the Columbus crew. But I, ho I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am actually wrong and that he actually decides to go to the MLS. Uh, 
Tim Tillman uh, played it was decent with LAFC this year. He was their new signing. Uh, he has done a, some a decent job with LAFC. Uh, have been have been really he he impressed me somewhat. At the start of the season, he was really great, but as the season went on, he kind of dried out a little bit. But still, he had a he had a good season in MLS. Uh, Ryan Gutierrez, Ryan Gutierrez, right now, um, I feel like he. He's not ready for the move abroad yet, but I feel like if he has another good year, and I was hoping that Shakiri is gone this January, hopefully we go, we'll get to see what Ryan Gutierrez is really made of. Like he's a really creative player, really technical. Hopefully we get to see a lot more from him now that the play, main 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 playmaker Shadon Shakiri is out, and they finally like finally like a, a DP spot open. Hopefully they use that for a good attacker. Uh, and not some really cheap creative player, so that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, let's go to the wingers. Wingers, uh, it should be Diego Luna. Diego Luna is probably the best young f winger in MLS. Noel Buck has been really great for the New England Revolution. Both of these, both of these players have been really brilliant for their respective clubs, especially Diego Luna. Um, I feel like Diego Luna, like after this upcoming season, I feel like he'll be ready for the move abroad. Alejandro Sendejas uh, has just won a championship with Club America, and it's really good to see it, but we have to see some of that with the national team at first if we want to continue calling him up. Uh, now let's talk about Jose Gallegos. Jose Gallegos has been really decent in, in Denmark, and I feel like he deserves a chance this January to show what he's really made of. Uh, he came over from USL, and I'm a big big fan of his move from USL to Dana to Denmark. Like a lot of these um, USL players, like Jonathan Gomez, I decided to move to Real Sociedad, where they really didn't fit in with the team and had to be loaned out to inferior leagues. So it's finally good to see that someone decided to go to a minor European league and have a good season there before deciding to put like before like if they want. We, like if they ever want to continue pushing themselves, like at least they have some experience in Europe already. So there's that. Let's talk to the strikers. Let's talk about them. Um, Jesus Ferrer and Duncan Maguire are our best two options, and they're not really good at all. Uh, like let's be honest over here. Like no one is shaking in their pants that they're gonna be facing Jesus Ferreira, unless you're some island from the Caribbean. So unless there, unless is that, I feel like you should be able to play, and you should not be able to fear who Jesus Ferreira is. Duncan Maguire, I feel like he's another Brandon Vasquez, just some player that scores a lot of goals in MLS. And when it comes to like when it comes to playing for the national team, they're absolutely dog water at their job. So there's that. Now let's talk about the preferred eleven with this roster. Like I've seen enough of Jesus Ferrer at the nine. Like I, he's not a nine at all. I feel like he's more of a ten. Uh, but again, we don't have a lot of strikers in MLS. But let's talk about first about the nine. Duncan McGuire has to start. Like he's the he's Olympic eligible. Uh, I feel like he scored around a similar amount of goals as this is for Ferreira. Uh, Brian Gutierrez at the 10, really, he's probably our best creator on this team. And I'm hoping that he has a really good game so we can stop calling up those, some of bums that Gerber Holter likes to call up a lot. Uh, next is Diego Luna uh, at the wing with Noah Buck at the other wing. So hopefully we get to see some good wingers in MLS coming into action this oh, next January, I mean. Um, at the start of the next year, I hope we get to see some really great faces at these two positions. Uh, double pivot, P Morris and Pukstas, I really feel like they do fit in their game game really, really well. Um, with Aiden Morris being more of a, as a deep line playmaker and Pukstas being a, wor a wor workhorse, in the middle of the park hopefully we get to see some really good action from these two and at the double pivot and as the back four it will be wiley josh winder miles ronson and nathan harriel some youth some youth led by the experienced miles ronson and hopefully we get to see that type of formation instead of like uh, again getting to see all these old head mls players all these mls lifers go into this camp absolutely waste two games for the fans and for all of us in general in general 
and instead of getting to see the same new faces that always fail us we get to see some new faces that could potentially give give us some good memories so that's what i'm hoping for uh chris brady and in goal again best u23 goalkeeper in the league right now so again not much to say about that so with all that being said thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next video goodbye